time Baby, you make me feel fine When you get okay, so just landed in SoCal and checked into our hotel I thought I'd give you guys a quick room tour So we're staying at the Peacock Suites Which is walking distance to Disney And they also have a shuttle So here, when we walk in this is like the sink area. Oh, also when I checked in, we were just like talking and I was saying, oh, it's my birthday and we're going to Disney. So they gave me this cute little Stitch plushie and also this little Seas Candies. They're so nice, literally made my day. So then here is the bathroom, just shower, toilet, usual stuff. Here's like the living room area. We have like a little kitchenette with a microwave, mini fridge, TV, sofa bed dining table and then coming in here is the bedroom we have two queen beds we wanted a uh, one king but they were out so we just got two queens and yeah that's about it so now we're gonna go to downtown disney we're gonna spend the day at downtown disney we're gonna eat a bunch of downtown disney food we're gonna shop at world of disney and get some merch maybe <laughs> yes will. Yeah. oh yes will and we're gonna go to the lego store oh yeah Back when we were like in our earlier years of dating and I wasn't really into Lego, Bird would always make me go into the Lego store with him at Downtown Disney and I'd just be like, oh, so bored, blah, blah, blah. But now I'm actually excited to go to the Lego store because I think it's my first time there since I've gotten into Lego in recent years. So yeah. Now she understands. Now I, now I get the Lego hype. <laughs> We are super duper hungry. We woke up at 7.45 a.m., which is extremely early for me, somewhat early for Bird. We didn't eat a single thing, so we are extremely hungry. Let's go eat. We got the Chipotle chicken avocado, which is what I always get when I come here. And then usually Bird gets the club, but we saw this holiday turkey one. And since we love the holiday sandwich that they had in the parks, the Thanksgiving sandwich uh, during the holiday season, we decided to get this because... Try something new. Try something new and we think we'll like it. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it's beautiful. Yum. Let's eat. If it's still warm, you have that nice chipotle sauce and it really brings out the flavor. The fresh crunch of the lettuce, the tender, juicy chicken. And the bread is really nicely toasted too. The meat is so tender. We're also hella starving, so it tastes extra good. Holiday turkey. Mmm, it is good. The turkey is so nice and soft. You get that flavor of the stuffing and also the tartness from the cranberry sauce on the same nicely toasted fluffy bread. This one has a lot of mayo though. Mm. It's very mayo-y. I think too mayo-y for me. Mm. Still good, but like, I think maybe less, next time I'll ask for less mayo or something. But I really like how the the turkey, the cranberry, and the and the stuffing makes this together, yeah. It's really good. Not as good as the thanks miss sandwich, but still good. It still fulfills the craving. just went to Sonstraw and we got a double scoop. The music's really loud, hopefully you guys can hear me. But we got their seasonal coffee with love nuts and the chocolate gooey brownie on the bottom. And the employee actually watches the channel so I think she hooked it up because these are huge. So if you're watching this, shout out to you. The coffee flavor is really nice. And the love nuts, I'm not sure what they are but they're like crunchy. Like maybe a candied, a candied nut or something. It's really good. It adds a nice crunch in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the chocolate gooey brownie. I usually don't like chocolate ice cream, but we sampled it and it was really good. I really like the brownie bits in it. Going in to look at the merch. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these cute plushies. 
Oh my god, what is this? Is it a bag? It's a bag! Oh my god, that's cute! Wow! Oh, whoa, look at this one! Squish, squish, squish! Whoa, what's this? Oh my god, it says Ka'ai! <laughs> Could you even read it? Yes. No, you couldn't. Yes, I could. No. And you said I used to copy your Chinese homework. Whatever. <laughs> Ratatouille. Oh my gosh, cute. This is all the Disney 100 merch. Look at these cute ears. Oh, oh this one? is cute. Look, it has everyone. Bird saw this hoodie on the Shop Disney website and he found it in the store. So now he's going to try it on. Nice. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. You like it? Let's see. Pose. <laughs> Are you gonna get it? Yeah. We're gonna get it. Bird got his hoodie <laughs> and he's wearing it because he said it's chilly, even though it's so sunny. It's cold. <laughs> I get cold easy. Okay. I see the Lego store. Let's go to it. <laughs> Lego. Bird knows every new set because he keeps up with Lego Leaks Reddit. Indeed I do. I feel like a short form too so that's why I have two cameras set up. Bird is helping me record the horizontal and then I have the vertical recording here. Oh my god. Oh, it's hot. It got on my hand. There's some juices in there dripping. Woo. Whoa. It's very hard to eat because it's so big. It's also hard to like crunch down on the pickle and get a good bite of it. So far it's not too bad. I don't know if I like it, but I'm more so frustrated at how difficult it is to eat. Look at it. Look at those layers. Also, this is so heavy and big that it's not even worth holding it from this little stick. You gotta just hold it like this. Otherwise, all the hot juices just run down your hands and it's really hot and hard to eat. But I actually kind of like it on its own. However, it is served with a side of peanut butter. So we're gonna have to try it like that too. Whoa, this peanut butter is hella thick. Here we go. Is that too much? Ooh. <laughs> Better, uh, not do that much. Mm -mm. No, no. That's a no-go on the peanut butter. Mm -mm. Tastes much better by itself. By itself, it's actually pretty decent. I kind of like how you get the really crispy outer batter and has that like cornmeal flavor from the batter. And then the pickle, it's like so interesting because it's crunchy, it's juicy, it's refreshing, which you're not usually used to having in like a deep fried corn dog, you know? You get the richness of the beef hot dog on the inside. Very interesting. I'm not mad at it. It's actually kind of a good like combination of flavors. But yeah, with the peanut butter, I don't know what they were thinking with that. I don't like that. But by itself, pretty good. I don't know what to think of. <laughs> It's something that you have to take a few bites because you're like processing what's going on, but also it's hard to get a bite of like everything together. <laughs> I like it, I think. <laughs> At least I like all the individual components. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I like all the individual components of it. But do you like how they taste together? I guess so. I guess not bad. We're trying out if you haven't before. I agree. It's it's worth trying at least once. This one is the Lunar New Year dog. And so it has the hot dog and mozzarella cheese and it's coated with sugar. So I think that this is their attempt at like a Korean corn dog. And I got this because I wanted to get a cheese bowl. <laughs> Where's the cheese bowl? It's under. I have to eat through the hot dog first. I have to eat through the first hot dog to get to the cheese part. But you can see it in there. There is a lot of sugar on the outside. Definitely more than I would prefer. Like if you get sugar on your Korean corn dogs, they don't usually put this much sugar. So too much sugar in my opinion. But hopefully with the mozzarella cheese part, it'll taste better. I wanted a good cheese bowl. 
Uh, okay, cheese balls. I wonder if I'm... She's a problem solver. I keep trying to get a cheese bowl. I keep getting hot dog. That's how I feel. Come on, cheese. Finally, that took too many failed attempts and too much sugar on my corn dog. It was a satisfying cheese pull in the end, but honestly, the like excessive amount of sugar on the outside ruined it for me. So I don't know if I'd recommend this. You can go to an actual Korean corn dog place and get something much better. You have corn dog in your eyebrow. Hey. Oh no, it's a leaf. Oh. It's fine. <laughs> we just really needed something to drink. I like it. You like it or not? Someone likes it. I mean, I don't dislike it. It's just not like anything special, you know? Like an icy. Yeah, kind of tastes like an icy. Tortilla Duos, and we're gonna watch the Super Bowl halftime show on Bird's phone. And Bird brought his AirPods so we can listen to the halftime show. Cause we don't want to miss Rihanna, Queen Riri. <laughs> I think we're gonna order one of these Lunar New Year specials, the Asian tuna nachos. Like a poke nacho kind of thing. They came by and brought free chips and salsa. And they have two different salsas. We have this one, like a more of like a red salsa, I guess and then a green one. And I usually like green salsa better than red salsa. What about you? Salsa. Okay. You have no preference? Salsa. Oh. Okay. their table side guacamole and they ask you how you like it so they ask what ingredients you like in it we got everything so we got garlic salt cilantro lime tomatoes onions and peppers and then they ask you if you like it chunky in the middle or smooth and we got in the middle tastes very fresh could use more lime and salt actually Tortilla soup. Very creamy. Has good flavor. I like the little tortilla strips that they add for fun. It's creamier than tortilla soups I'm used to, but it's still good. Good soup. <laughs> These are the Asian tuna nachos. Fish tastes fresh. The flavors are actually really nice. Has like a little soy saucy flavor, a little sweet, and then a, a mayo based sauce as well. Maybe like supposed to be like a sriracha mayo. Not really spicy though. And then the sesame seeds adds a nice nutty flavor. from Jazz Kitchen Express and we were so full after Tortilla Joe's but we walked around digested a little bit because I really wanted 
to get these beignets during our downtown Disney trip. So yeah, we got a small, it comes with four beignets for like $10, I believe. And we're gonna shake it up. Ooh, look at that. Covered in powdered sugar, so fluffy looking. Let's try. It's steamy. It's so fluffy, so soft, nice and sugary on the outside. These ones are a bit doughier than the ones in the parks. They are still fluffy, but they definitely have more of a a little like dense, doughy chewiness. A little, little bit, but still really good. Alright, that's it for today's vlog. If you made it this far, comment down below. That pickle corn dog was wild. <laughs> and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!